Excel Interface is a new application that provides a fully automated interface between Microsoft Excel and any data source. This means Excel Interface can eliminate all manual updating of spreadsheets and turns Microsoft Excel into a production report design tool. Really, it does. Excel Interface takes data from any source or any combination of sources as long as the data is in CSV or XML formats. Excel Interface then reads a tag spreadsheet or a master copy for instructions on how to create a new report using the updated data. Excel interface will add rows or columns as required. All the formatting, formulas, charts, pivot tables, dashboards, and anything else that can be designed in Excel will be updated automatically without anyone ever having to open up Excel. This means you can produce as many reports as you want according to any schedule you need and send them to any distribution list as an Excel file or in PDF, HTML, or even PowerPoint formats. Excel Interface really does turn Microsoft Excel into an error-free production reporting tool. What's more, Excel Interface is easy to use. The first step is to tag a spreadsheet. This will be used as a template or a master copy. In this case, we have a simple spreadsheet with a date and two tables. There are also some basic formulas and charts. The complexity of a spreadsheet is not an issue for Excel Interface. Anything that can be designed in Excel will be updated automatically. To create a master copy or template, all you need to do is open a spreadsheet in the Excel Interface tagging program. Then you simply double click on the cell where the data is supposed to go. In this case, the cell was already formatted as a date, so Excel Interface will assume it's a date. You just click on the Create Tag button and your new date will appear in this cell. Next, we will tag the table. Double click on the first cell where the data is going to go. Excel Interface automatically knows it's a table or a grid by the formatting. There are a number of tagging options to facilitate the building of reports and spreadsheets, as well as a complete help menu to guide you through the process. In this case, we want to insert new data into the table. We choose the Insert option and click Create Tag. Next, we'll tag the second table. As you can see, this is a few charts associated with it. Simply double click on the first cell where you want the data to go and the tagging menu appears. Notice that Excel interface knows that charts belong with this table and the default tag name is chart1. We can call the tags anything we want as long as the same name appears in the data file. Just click create tag and you're done. Tagging a spreadsheet is a one-time process. You can change the master copy any way you want, move or copy charts or tables to other worksheets, add pivot tables or dashboards, but as long as you don't introduce a new data set, you'll never have to tag the spreadsheet again. The second step is to create the data file. We have the master copy we previously saved open in Excel interface using the Show Tags option. Now we'll open a sample data file we've created. As you can see, the first tag, date, appears in the data file exactly as it does in the master copy. The actual data that will populate the final report is put immediately below the tag name. A blank line is used to separate the tags. The next tag, grid1, appears, followed by the chart1 tag. Excel interface will automatically create a data spec sheet that can be given to the IT department to create the data file. It will also generate part of the SQL Server query or the code that can be pasted in a SAS program to create the data file. The final step is to create the batch file. Excel Interface does this for you automatically. It tells the system where the Excel Interface executable is, gives the name of the production environment, the master copy, the data file, and what format the final report should be in. In this case, we want a PDF report. The ability of Excel Interface to run Microsoft Excel in the background is one of its key differentiators from the existing Excel automation tools. You can run as many reports as you want at any time, day or night, without anyone ever having to open up Excel. Now all you have to do is to run the batch file and the result is a professional production report designed entirely in Excel with the data exactly as provided by the IT department. Is this a good idea? Yes! Thank you for your interest in Excel Interface.
For more information, please contact John or Ivan.